Look, we're a member of FedHaas and we've been engaging through FedHaas. Uh, I think they've done an incredible job together with TBCSA of lobbying government. Uh, originally, uh, business travel was only going to open under level two. And that was through their great initiatives brought down to level three. And I think it's been the right decision. I mean, one can't look at that and say that that was incorrect. It took them lobbying government to say, he has a safety plan and the industry can do it. And of course, we've all followed those protocols. I think what's needed now from an industry perspective is really a push towards looking after employment and employees, as I say. Uh, I think the trade unions need to get involved. I think they need to make their voice a lot louder because unfortunately, uh, well, government has proven that they listen to force in terms of the taxi industry. So we as a very divergent industry, not showing the same unification as the taxi industry, are at a disadvantage because our voice is not as loud as those knocking very hard on the door. Uh, we don't ever want to be those bullies. We don't ever want to be as demanding as that. We'd rather government uh, listens and embraces before we have to get militant. But unfortunately, when you look at the status of starving employees, militancy is no question going to be on the cards in our industry and I think through others. If TERS was extended for the industries that are still under lockdown and affected, such as ours, think about the gyms that are still closed and all of their employees. I mean, at some point, uh, without TERS, there is starvation and hunger. That's going to lead to militancy. So at least provide a TERS type initiative for um, extend TERS for those that are still in lockdown or partial lockdown.